No, you can't freeze them. Oh, no. No, 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 you don't need to, you don't need to freeze it whatsoever. If you freeze, it'll turn to mush. For other people in the luxury food industry, competition to supply the super-rich is driving innovation. So, yeah, you know, I would hate you to have this kind of, like, you know, shriveled mush on your plate and you'd be pretty annoyed as well. <laughs> Ken Benning works in the increasingly crowded world of caviar. We're already in the days of Russian Iran or gone. The Germans produce very good caviar, the Americans produce very good caviar, the Chinese produce fantastic caviar. You know, China, caviar. People think, China, caviar? How can the Chinese produce it? It must be fake, it must be synthetic. But it's not, it's very good caviar. As more and more people farm caviar and as more and more farms get up to speed, the price of caviar is coming down. To keep his label exclusive, Ken has had to innovate. Two years ago, he set up Britain's first caviar farm. Look at that, that's a bloody big haul. That is, that is a very, very good Rosac. We're the only ones with British. We knew that some chefs would, uh, would, uh, would buy, uh, buy British, um, and it went down very, very well. Yeah, fresh caviar. Half an hour ago, that fish was swimming. To stand out from his competition, Ken is constantly searching for something new. This month, he's launching a project which promises to turn the world of caviar on its head. Why are we looking at a frog? Because that little frog is the future of food. So that little frog has been you know, at the forefront of uh, you know, cancer research, regeneration uh, technology, cell regeneration, stem cell technology, and the results and what this stuff does is phenomenal. Ken has discovered that the African clawed frog has miraculous medicinal properties. He plans to infuse an extract from the frog's spawn into his caviar to create a new elixir of youth, Caviar XL. When I first heard about it, I thought to myself, you know, is this a joke? Um, I got very excited about it, but something inside me said, actually, there's probably something here. Caviar XL is sturgeon caviar, real sturgeon caviar, infused with an extract of the Xenopus labius frog. I think we're going to probably charge about £100,000 a kilo. Achieving the impossible is a common goal for many people supplying the super rich. And Ken Benning thinks he might have just done it. His Caviar XL, infused with frog spawn extract, could have life-enhancing properties. But his colleagues are sceptical, including his wife, Jemima. In, in my mind, I don't know, having done science and whatever, you, you, you feel you need a certain element of proof, um, you know, and, and all the, all the things... So I'm going to show you proof? No, I know, but you need to actually see it. No, okay. I can show you proof. We can bring it around the screen now and I'll show you, basically, this little XL93, as I like to call it, I've named it XL93. They've tested this, uh, they've fed it to mice, and the mouse has lived 1.7 times longer than the mouse that wasn't fed it. The only reason why you die is because, basically, your brain dies. You get old. Your body starts regenerating. And what we're trying to do is introduce products which help your body to continue regenerating. But we're going to launch it in a caviar product at the top of the market. Think, of, think about food that basically goes into you, does stuff for you, and then goes out of you. Not chemicals. Not chemicals at all. Regeneration, reorganization, and reanimation. <laughs> Do you remember when um, Kenneth first told you about this? Um, the horny toad, as I like to call it. <laughs> um, it, was, it was only a few weeks ago, wasn't it? It was a couple of weeks ago when, um, when the guy had come through from the States. So, um, so, yeah. And it just seems to have spiralled into a whole new event in, uh, in Ken's world. <laughs> is, 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 is this strictly enough. Ken's world, though? I, I think it's mainly a Ken project at the moment, yeah. Ten years ago, Ken's business happily sold normal caviar. But as it's become cheaper, the super-rich now require something more exclusive. Caviar alone is no longer posh enough. We have to grow. If we sit still, you know, there are... I mean, every day there's someone else online trying to sell caviar and trying to undercut us and, you know, or they're trying to sell to our customers and, you know, it's a, it's a dog-eat-dog world. If we get this right, yeah, you can make money out of it, sure, but it's not actually about the money. It's about having something that no one else has and providing that to our kind of customers because that's what they like as well. They want to have something that no one else has. 
There's only a certain amount of restaurants you go to, there's only a certain amount of times you can rent that yacht. But after a while, you know, these people, they kind of, they want the next thing. And they're, prepared, they're willing to pay for it. In Ken Benning's office, the myth of eternal youth is possibly about to be made real. The box has just arrived, yeah, delivered. Labelled as live fish, but it's not fish. These are the little frogs. Right. They must be inside right. the tank. Right, take that out there. Right, we need to use that stuff, apparently, because we've got to treat the water. I think the froggies are in here. What we'll do, by the looks of it, I'm assuming that in that little package there is the frogs. It's quite exciting. Two days after placing an order, Ken's first batch of African clawed frogs have arrived. This project's been, uh, how long have we been for? Two, three months. Um, you know, it may be that it takes another turn and this is not the way to go, but this is, you know, they've been playing a lot to get these little things. Hello, little buggers. <laughs> this is possibly part of the future, yeah. Here we go. One, two. That's it. I think they might have a fatality. They're, they're not fatality, they're, 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 they're getting acclimatized. Those what? two are belly up. They're not belly up at all. They're not? Though. No, well, their eyes are on top of it, aren't they? Oh, right, OK. Darling, have some faith. <laughs> oh, look, look. They're playing dead. Sort of doing little buggers. <laughs> I think they're great, you know? They're amazing, aren't they? And I always, I'm a great believer in that you can't make something happen until you physically see it. Now, now you've seen the frogs, you know the frogs exist, they're physically in front of you, you can physically touch them, physically hold them, now it's the next stage. You know, I think that he's, he's definitely a man on a mission when a new idea comes along, so, yeah. So can we harvest from this little frog the future of bioceuticals, I guess, or biopharmers, uh, and create a product which Basically, you eat this and you live for another 50 years, 60 years. Now, this is, this is the future. You know, the reality being is that we just want to be at the forefront of it. Back in London, order, Ken is not having quite such a successful day. I mean, speaking to the, uh, the, the department, looks after novel foods. And, uh, you know, if we take basically the unfertilized frog spawn and we basically do what we do to it and create this new product is classified as a novel food and we're looking anywhere up to he said by the time you get some of this to market it's gonna cost you over a million pounds i'm like oh great ken has discovered that his caviar xl is classed as a novel food and needs several years of safety testing before he can be issued a license the frogs will now face a very different future so the, the, the boys are all excited that we're getting some, some form of pets because uh, we don't have any pets at the moment. And um, I think it'll be nice to have a few little frogs and hopefully they won't be used further down the line. Hopefully these ones will stay as little, little family friends. We'll see. <laughs> but Ken is resolutely upbeat. You know, we're not going to go crazy and in a better shirt than them. But what you're doing is slowly at the same time, you're just like a juggler, one, two, three, four, and you get another one, you throw it in there. You know, and you know, and you know your own strengths. You don't want to get the whole bloody bag and throw up in the end because you're not going to be able to catch it, are you? <laughs> I said, you, you know, you've got to keep on doing different things. There are so many people doing similar things. So you've got to always find the new project and, and keep on evolving. Um, people think I'm absolutely mad, but, you know, they, they said we'd be mad to start a sturgeon farm in the UK. You know, the reality being is, you know, there are sturgeon farms around the world and all caviar is now farmed. It's all sustainable. That's the way it's changed. Just days after his frog disappointment, Ken Benning is launching another business innovation. What we want to do is be able to bring a brand new product to the market, brand new one, which is literally fresh caviar, as in really fresh. No borax, no additives. You turn the tin over and see half of the stuff in the market, it's got more bloody additives than most kids' sweets do. We don't want to do that. We want to make it to order, really make it to order, and give the customer a whole different experience. It tastes totally different. I mean, it's unbelievably creamy. You know, they say, oh, it hasn't matured. No, bollocks, it's been in the tin for six, six months. What we want is it literally been out of the fish six hours. 
I don't know what you can see here, but what I can see, and we're close to it, is a same day, literally producing caviar at two, three o'clock in the morning, producing the caviar, and that fresh caviar is on the table of the customer in the top restaurants in London by lunchtime. We're going to uh, uh, have a look at this. Grab the coat. Turn around the corner. Ready? Ken is now planning a sturgeon farm right on his own doorstep, allowing him to claim London's freshest caviar ever, direct from a postcode in Battersea. It doesn't look like much, but at the end of the day, you know, you've got to see this, you've got to see past, past the first bit. And basically what you're having here uh, is literally London's first sturgeon farm. You know what? Um, this is the future. This is literally, you know, I think that urban farming is, 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 is where it's at. 